Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem sixteen in chapter twenty four. Chapter twenty four is about capacitance, dielectrics, electric energy storage. So there you can see we have a conductor which is composed of two parallel planes, right? The electric field density is given. We write it there. This is electric field density between two parallel planes, and the A errors for each plane is given, and the gaps between the two planes is also given, and it is separated by the air, right? So ask you what charge was the, it uh, must be. So in this case, you can see the given quantities is about the E, A, and D. We need to connect it with the Q. In this case, uh, we know the A and the D, so it's a very straightforward. We need to consider the capacitance to connect the electric field and the A, D with the charge Q, right? So in one way, we can write the capacitance as a charge over potential. In another way, we can write the capacitance as a constant epsilon naught times the A over D, right? So you can see this is two ways to write the capacitance. So they are equals, agree? And uh, then we can convert this function, get the function for charge Q. You can see charge Q e equals epsilon A times V over D. Now we look at there, we don't have potential. But we know the V over D is just the electric field dense, agree? So we replace the V over D as the E. So in, now you can see the epsilon naught constant A is given, E is given. So final answer is very easy to calculate. Thank you.